Hey, welcome to Sylvie's Technique Vlog. I'm going to show you a um, exercise for the right cross that I learned from Sagat Petyindi. Um, it's all about the rotation of the shoulder, and it's basically the same thing as when I showed hitting the wall. So you basically want it to come out straight like this and never coming around, and all you need is the corner of a ring, which is really, really great. It does not matter that this is not the proper height for punching someone in the face. That's not the point. The point is to get the footwork and the rotation and the power all at once. So I'm actually going to be punching down a little bit because of the height of this thing, but Sagat is taller than me and he did the same thing. So you basically want to get your footwork like this and you're just going to be stepping out slightly to make room for your shoulder and the whole thing is throwing the opposite shoulder back so that you never have to come around with the one that you're punching. You want to keep your guard hand up tight and be throwing one shoulder forward and the other shoulder throwing back. So when I was training this right cross with Sagat and he had me doing it in the corner, he actually stood behind me and would push my right shoulder to get the kind of like lurching on it. So you basically don't want to be tight. You don't want to be tight trying to throw the punch like this. It's basically if someone had your hand and it was pulling you forward, or if someone was standing behind you and shoving your shoulder, you're gonna be kinda like flipping like this. I had a little bit of a hard time with it until I focused on the opposite shoulder. So I was thinking about this one coming straight like this, but when I thought about this one rotating back, all of a sudden my power increased a great deal and my relaxation increased at the same time, and Sagat was like, yes, <laughs> that's what you do. So a couple of things to look for are how you have your feet, so when you're doing your cross, you're basically going to be doing a slight step out. You're not angling your foot the way you do for a kick, but you are stepping slightly outside to make room for your head to come offline and for the arm to come straight. But you really just want to get this motion down as you're putting in the power. You want to make sure that you keep your guard up, and Sagat did allow me to do a jab and then cross to like add in while doing it on the corner of the ring. But the point of this entire drill in this exercise is just to get the repetition of absolute power coming out of your right cross from a relaxed state and to really rotate out of your rib cage. So Sagat has this whole thing where you don't start a punch from all this distance that you're not gonna be using any of that you want to be coming, if your target's here, you want the least amount of effort getting to that target, and then the rest goes through the target. So it comes right out of your ribs. That's a hook, not a cross. But so this is going to be coming straight out of your ribs, and that's by the rotation of this one, like that. So when you go to actually throw your punches, you want to keep your balance, and you want to make everything as consistent as possible so that it's the same punch over and over and over again. So that's going to be, he made a big point about basically nailing your back foot to the ground. You don't want to be coming in. You want to keep that one back for the organization for your next punch to come out of that. He told me to do it for 10 minutes a day. So for 10 minutes, you're just throwing that right cross over and over and over again. It will get you so ready to, from any angle, just start throwing that right cross. And again, as I break it, again, he was talking about the importance of punching through your target. So as you're punching into the corner, you don't want to be snapping off of it, but you also don't want to be pushing. So don't push past it. You want to like power past it, but also don't be like snapping off of it like it's hot. You want to go past and back, like you're stabbing and coming back off of the punch. A way that you can, um, Calibrate this as if you have a wall, if you don't have the ropes. If you have a wall 
push your shoulder against the wall. Get your foot the way that you would be doing it for the same footwork on the punch. And then you're just gonna glide along the wall or the ropes, pulling that shoulder back to make it really straight. When I was doing this on the corner, he came and stood next to me and was like, don't touch me. And my cross had to come across his body like this and not touch him. If I didn't start from my ribs and rotate my shoulder back to get that right cross, I was totally grazing him every time I went. I was like grazing along his body because you will get a slight outward bend. It's like you're just bending outside of your um, like balloon or something. You want everything to be bong, bong. And so you can do that against the ropes or against a wall, but make sure that you keep your feet exactly in the same order that you want to be doing it on the corner.